Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am excited today because we are gonna talk about the thing that I feel is most often forgotten about in all of golf instruction. Not only is it good for you to play golf, but it's good for your whole entire life and your entire physical well-being. Today, we're talking about symmetry. We're going to be swinging it right and left-handed to show you what happens when you put a little bit of time into addressing your less dominant side. Whether we're talking about swinging the golf club most efficiently or just creating the most fit, healthy body that we can, paying a close attention to the symmetry in which you train in is paramount. If you employ a trainer at home to get yourself just more fit, I guarantee you, whatever you do with your right arm, you're going to do with your left arm. If you're going to do a push, then you're going to do a pull. If you're going to do a down, then you're going to do an up. I think you get where I'm going here. So for golf, we become one dimensional movers. We go in a single direction that is predicated by the dominant hand in which we play in. I want you to start to swing equally right handed as you do left handed. As a right-handed player, I'm always moving, I'm loading into my right side, and I'm unloading into my left side. For every swing I do that way, I could just flip my club over if I felt like it, and now I can load into my left side and unload into my right side. And if you haven't done this before, I'm gonna warn all of you, it's gonna feel really weird. You have to embrace this weirdness and it's until you do that and you make the reps pile up that you start to become more natural at it. I'll always use gym references because these two things go hand in hand in this topic. The first time you train a muscle group that you haven't before, or you try a new exercise that you haven't before, chances are if you've done that with any level of intensity, you're gonna be sore the next day. And with swinging the golf club, it's no different. It's gonna feel weird at first. Your body's going to resist it quite a bit at first. But the more you do it, the soreness goes away and you become more efficient at the movement and ultimately you become stronger. And when the season starts, feel free to continue to swing left-handed or right-handed, whichever one is opposite of your strong side, throughout the course of the year to maintain the symmetry as your golf reps really ramp up. When you overtrain in any direction, you are prone for injury and golfers are the most often injured athletes that are out there in any recreational sport. We're, we're here to swing as fast as we possibly can. So for every five swings that I make, swinging into my left side as a right-handed player, I'm gonna make that same five swings going as fast as I can in the opposite direction. There's three, I'll do three for the sake of time. Now I'm gonna swing left-handed. Again, it feels a little bit weird, but I've been training for this this exact thing for years now. Being able to hit the ball right and left-handed is very useful. It's great to demonstrate, and it looks really cool when you do it. So I'm gonna show you just what happened for me after a couple years of really working on swinging right and left-handed. So let's take a look and see how I swing the golf club right and left-handed, and you can be the judge and you can comment below and tell me if you think you can do any better. I have my uh, Titles T100 7 iron here, which I usually hit somewhere between 175 and 180 yards in the air. Not a bad strike. And pretty much what I would expect. 89.3 miles an hour club head speed. I'd like to think I can get to 90 uh, when I'm moving uh, a little bit more often in the summertime. But as I mentioned, 179.3 carry, which is you know pretty standard for me with this new set of irons and a 186.5 total. So um, you're seeing right there, kind of the, the normal version of myself as a right-handed player. So I'm gonna set my uh, righty down and take my glove off and we're gonna see how the left side goes. Let's take a look. Okay, so here it is, time to prove it all. I got my lefty T300 here, a little more forgiving model than my right-handed gamer version. Don't expect to hit it quite as far as I did right-handed. Okay. 
right. Pretty standard version for me, honestly. Um, I could hit a little bit more solidly, uh, to be totally honest, but you'll see club head speed, 82.4, carry 153, and a total of, of 171.6, almost 172. So I think what we've proven, if nothing else today, just by my own experience, if you really put in the time and the effort to get the reps in doing the opposite side, train symmetrically, whether you're in the gym or you're swinging some speed sticks at home, make sure that you are swinging equally right and left, and you too can hit high draws with your opposite hand, and you might even impress some of your buddies this summer. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week.